Okay. Communication. How do I train my community? How many of you think that uh, communication is important? Yeah, yes, it is. Imp I can tell you it's important. All right. So, first of all, if you think, oh, my communication is not that good, fine. Uh, but finish that sentence. My communication skills are not good, but I'm figuring it out by doing A, B, and C. All right. That's. Always never say, oh, my whatever is not very good. Always, my whatever is not very good, but this is what I'm doing. All right? And you'll go through your whole life thinking that you're not good at something. That's just life. All right? Until you put something on the end, but I'm figuring it out, and this is what I'm doing, A, B, and C. What can you, there are many things you can do. You can have a cue card, stand up and read it first thing every morning. A cue card. Just read it out. Write something on the cue card. My vision is, I want this. And you read it out every morning. Okay, maybe start in Chinese, but put it into English. Read it out. Close the door. Don't let anyone listen to you if you're embarrassed. Okay. Uh, podcast. Listen to BBC News, English. Or some money for nothing. Uh, so now you can get podcast apps on your... Android or iPhone and actually you can make it go slower than one to one. You can slow it down to 0 0.9 or 0 0.8. It's not like, oh, it's too fast, I can never catch it. You can always slow it down to 0 0.9 or 0 0.8. Uh, and if it's BBC News, they, it's dumbed down anyway. So you can actually get the good English ideas from listening to that. Presentation skills. Uh, what I tried to teach you during the semester, but this is something we can do for another time. Presentation is all about the energy, belief in the content, or competition. Okay? You've got to believe, you must have the energy, and this, I'm going to talk about energy today. Energy. All right? Because your energy, when you're in an interview, at the end of the day, your skills may not be better than other interviewees, so you're not going to get a job because of that. Oh, your vision may not be better, but this is something you can change. What you can change on that day is the energy you put in. Okay, energy. What does energy mean? It's your presence. It's your feeling of, and that energy is more the transfer of emotion, transfer of energy between you and the interviewer. They want to see that you're in the room, you are present. And so having good energy is very good for that. It doesn't mean just eating well. It also means getting heart beating. All right. Remember, you two, you watch that video, that climbing video, and your, your, your heart doesn't change, whereas mine does. So that works for me. Okay, I watch that, and then suddenly, oh, man. <laughs> you know? So you've got to find something that can actually get you energized. One thing I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about time later. And that's where we're going to bend time. Uh, believe me, Patrick, I'll I, I show you how to bend time later. And to make it short now, it's all about getting you. One way is to start holding, hold your breath. I told you this idea before. All right, so what do I mean by that? If you hold your breath and take 20, 30, 40 steps, number one, your heart starts beating. Number two, your blood starts circulating. Okay, suddenly now you've actually created action in your body. And then you sit down, suddenly you're much more awake. It's like having coffee. It can work. You should do that before an interview. You should do that for an interview. It's like going upstairs, three, four flights of stairs. Very good, just before an interview, do that. That will take away your nerves. All right? It will reduce, it won't remove everything. It will reduce your nerves, okay? So that's what I mean by working on uh, your energy, belief in the content. What I'm saying here is believe in yourself. Believe in, you don't have to believe that you want to be an accountant. But you, at least you can believe that you want to have your own business and you have a whole picture of that. No one can, st no one can stop that, all right? But you say you want to be an accountant, no, I don't believe you. Yeah, you're right, I really don't want to be an accountant. But I really want the job because I need the money. Why do you need the money? Well, I have this vision for blah, blah, blah. Wow, suddenly you change. You with me here, all right? So you've got to think. It's not about lying in the interview. It's about trying to find those nuggets 
that differentiate you from other interviewees. Because everyone's going to say, oh, I love accounting. I want to be a tax accountant. I want to be an auditor. Forever. No way. Put your hand up if you want to be an accountant forever. I didn't think so. All right. So competition is great. And this is for PhD students. I talk about that. But we're going to move on. We're going to keep moving on today.